Okay guys, I figured I'd make a quick video here on the TPS potentiometer mod being that your TPS is that little black box on the side of the, um, side of the, I guess you'd call it the, uh, the intake, or the throttle linkage assembly there. Just a potentiometer, it's variable as you step on the throttle, it increases your voltage, telling your transmission what it needs to do as far as shifting into overdrive, and even just the normal shifts themselves. So, what's the common issue on these is the contact points inside get worn out and they no longer work. Some people have good luck with drilling a small hole in the side or small hole in the side of them and cleaning them. And that works for some people. Although I tried that, had no luck. Um, tried a couple different options, really didn't have any luck trying to fix it, so I just said the heck with it, or or I should say I didn't have any luck fixing it long term. It fixed it for a couple weeks and that was about it. So what I did is I installed a potentiometer in the cab in um, instead of this TPS sensor. So I'll jump in the cab really quick. Okay, all I did is I bent a little plate and placed the potentiometer right there. Not going to move it just because I have it set one place and it seems to work for everything including towing. I think I got lucky. So. There's about a million different ways to wire a potentiometer, but it's just three wires. They're going back through the firewall of your truck. I drill a hole. Um, if you have an auto and don't plan on converting to standard, you can run through the clutch hole, as I've mentioned in another video. Okay, so let's jump out of here. And here is where they come up. Um, I do have them labeled for when I put it together. It's 0, 1, 2, or 0 IG, I for um, the ignition hot, 0 for the ground, or wait, no, yeah, G for ground, and um, yeah, Z O for orange. So, all you do is you go through and you put it in, the O goes in the orange, the orange is going to be your signal wire. Your purple is going to be hot all the time, and then your black is your ground. You wire that up, you figure out where you like your potentiometer set to shift into overdrive, and you then are all set. All you need to do is, I run it up along here, um, I probably do need to find a zip tie of some sort to you know, actually contain that because it can go anywhere. Um, it's not a high voltage ordeal, so I just use basic speaker wire. Uh, I know probably good people are going to say it's not adequate, but there's no, not a lot of voltage, not a lot of wattage, so that holds up just fine for what we're doing and transmits the signal just fine. So, as always, I mean, make sure you disconnect your battery cables when you do this, just because you don't want to fry anything. That would be bad, because, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be too bad, because they're going to fry as a $2 potentiometer, or potentially fry your junk TPS because you're doing this mod for a reason. So your most important thing is don't shock yourself I guess you could say. But that's it for today folks. Have a nice day.